Hello, my name is Robert Eriteri. Today we're going to show you a cold plasma technology for removing black particulate matter, the black smoke you see on diesel trucks when they start up. The current technology, DPF or diesel particulate filter, is the current technology used and by design they clog. It's a filter. Our system does not use cold plasma which uses electricity to agglomerate or stick the particles together. They stay inside and fall to the bottom. Now this happens on startup and we're going to show you that test for you right now. Now normally, under normal circumstances, without filtration or DPF or our de device, I wouldn't sit by an exhaust and I don't advise anyone to do this at home. But today we're going to show you how clean our exhaust is. Alright, we're going to start our truck now. What we're going to show you now is a Kubota generator, four-cylinder engine, side by side. We're going to start that engine for you now. Now this system has absolutely zero filtration on it and you're going to see a lot of particulate matter black smoke coming out. We're going to do that test for you right now. Okay, let's start it up. And as you can see in that test right there, there was a large amount of diesel particulate matter that came out of there on startup. Okay, let's shut it off. Now as you can see on startup, you saw a large amount of black smoke particulate matter. This engine has absolutely zero protection, zero filtration. It does not have our system on it. As you can see side by side, there's a huge difference in filtration and the loss of particulate matter with the filtration system. Okay, what we're going to show you now is our collection cell, our method of collecting the diesel particulate matter. Now, we are using high voltage electricity causing cold plasma to agglomerate or make these particles stick to our plates. Our method of cleaning this is simply by washing it. The current technology DPF or diesel particulate filter needs to go through a regeneration cycle, many regeneration cycles, and after that, they need to be replaced. That replacement can cost as much as $8,000. Our system Simply washing it, putting it back, leaves it good as new. And you can also see the black dust or soot that we're taking out of the air is collected inside, and this is not in the air, where it can cause numerous respiratory problems. In fact, firefighters have the number one respiratory problems due to breathing or inhaling this black dust. <laughs> The EnviroGenCat was designed to reduce deadly carbon monoxide on gasoline engines by 98%. The EnviroGenCat was designed for this PPV, which is a positive pressure ventilator, which reduces the 10,000 parts per million that we all know these gasoline engines can produce, down to 98% or 100 parts per million, which is that of a four gas burner stove. We're going to show you the test right now. As you can see there, with startup, we had a slight rise in numbers, and as the engine heated up, there's a thermochemical reaction. The unit came down, the numbers came down, leveled off at about 50 or 60 parts per million. That's a very safe level. The longer this engine runs, the hotter it gets, the lower the CL will go.
Okay, now we're going to show you another unit, a PPV, a slightly larger positive pressure ventilator, but nonetheless a gasoline engine producing large amounts of carbon monoxide. This engine is going to be run without the EnviroGenCat technology. We're going to show you just how fast and how high those numbers can go. Okay, with that test right there, you saw six, maybe seven seconds. Our meter only goes up to 10,000 parts per million and went over range. That means this immediate area was filled with more than 10,000 parts per million of carbon monoxide. Deadly carbon monoxide, which means that's 10 times the amount it takes to kill a human being in just a matter of minutes. The unit you saw before is a very safe device. This device is not. The EnviroGenCat, get one today.